Hey everybody, welcome to this week's Cyber Story. This week's Cyber Story's theme is Passwords Suck. Okay, let's be really honest. We've all done at least one of these things. First off, using the same password from or similar password for multiple sites and services like Gmail and an application and the computer you log into, or we've used a password where it contains a number and then we've just incremented it like Daisy one, Daisy two, Daisy three. That way we don't have to come up with a brand new password every single time. And for those of you that actually do come up with the same or a different password every time, you've likely written it down. So none of those are good scenarios. The first thing that happens if a hacker guesses your password or figures out your password is they're going to start trying it in multiple scenarios. Your banking, uh, your uh, your email, your any sort of service online. So what's the solution? Password managers. Password managers are the current best solution out there outside of using some sort of a hardware key and we'll probably talk about some more advanced options at a later date but for right now let's talk about password managers what they do can we trust them and what function do they do they play so a password manager a password manager allows you to do this it allows you to have one complex password and it allows you to incorporate uh, two-factor authentication i'll put a link in the notes about two-factor authentication we've talked about it before and then the password managing management service actually stores your password for you and you can access it using that one complex password as well as 2fa now wait a minute you're saying isn't it a silly idea to put all of your passwords into one location with one vendor yeah and it kind of seems that way at first and i kind of thought the same thing when they first started coming out but reputable password managers use encryption and hashing in order to keep anyone from actually getting access to your passwords even if their system is compromised i'm not going to geek out for 20 minutes or so trying to explain encryption and hashing what i will do is in our youtube video notes is put a link to a third party video that explains how that works if you're really interested secondly if you're using your password manager should someone get your your password you do have 2fa set up but you're also setting up two-factor authentication on all of your sites and services that you're using as well, right? If not, again, reference my 2FA and SIM swapping uh, videos. I will put them in the YouTube notes. So that sums it up. Go get yourself a password manager, read some reviews, get something reputable. If you need help with that, let us know and keep yourself secure online. You guys have a great week. We'll talk to you soon.